down on his luck in Hollywood with an industry that no longer wanted anything to do with him, Zachary Lavoie took the next step in his incredible journey. He left the shores of America and found refuge in the city of Gay Paris. I, I can say gay, right? And that's not going to offend the homos, is it? It was first class all the way. Nothing but the best for Zachary Lavoie. He stowed away on a shipping container full of canned meats and rats. When they found him, he was picking his teeth with the rodent's spinal column. <laughs> it's so gross. So, I went on my European tour, as it were. Ah, it was some of the best times of my life. I don't know what he's been telling you, but his European tour, as he calls it? Brought shame upon our entire family that won't wash off for generations to come. How so, if you don't mind me asking? We received a call in the middle of the night from the Paris police force telling us that Zach was in jail because he was trading hand jobs for quarter pounders. Aren't they called, um, <clears throat> royales with cheese in France? How should I know? Google, motherfucker, do you use it? Jesus, is so angry. Zachary's run-in with the law in Paris was only the beginning. If it was illegal and in bad taste, Zach did it. Twice. Except escargot. That shit is nasty, yo. Props. I just think it was something I needed to get out of my system. I needed to do as many despicable, disturbing, disgusting things as I could think of in order to realize that I was wasting my life on these fruitless dreams. Trust me, once you wake up at 3 a.m. with a bottle of absinthe in one hand, sacrificial dagger in the other, with your face buried in a midwife's cooter, and your body covered in pate and the blood of a virgin in the town square in Bruges, that's when you realize that maybe you need some help. I still have that dagger. And help came in the form of what many struggling actors in Hollywood have turned to for years when their lives and or careers are in the shitter. The Church of Scientology. <laughs> oh yeah, I drank the punch. And now, I worship Lord Zeno, the space alien. <sighs> See, was that so hard to come out and say? I keeps it real. OMG, I so want to disown that loser now. He's been brainwashed by that cult. All he talks about is aliens and shit. So now I guess he fits in with that geek crowd he was always envious of. Oh my god! What's that supposed to mean? Were you hiding in the shadow? No one wants to see your ugly ass face. Oh, it's on! Crazy bitch. I'm, hey. I'm not envious of anyone. People I'm are envious of me. I'm Zach LaFour. I'm telling Zeno. And I'll kick his ass oh, too! Guys. With his life back on track, Zack now looks at the world with a more confident attitude, a more world-weary attitude, and even has a spaghetti monster backing him in his corner. Could this mean a newfound career in the acting industry? Who knows? But first things first, he'll have to move out of his mother's basement. I live a content and happy life. I'm uh, still living with my mom in displays. You know, baby steps. You can't rush into these things and expect to get your foot in the door overnight. Mm -mm. Trust me, I know. But mark my words, you will see my name up on the silver screen once again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lavoie, the world waits with bated breath. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I'm Trent Trendsetter. Thank you for watching this episode, and good night. Alright. <clears throat> Still got a few hours to kill here, right? Good, because uh, I need a blowjob. Hey, how about you, honey? How old are you? Really? 16, huh? It's old enough to me. I mean, I know there's grass on the field. Let's play ball, right? Come on. Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. <laughs>